So I'm making this video for um, to put on the Godot proposals to kind of illustrate in a more efficient way what the problem with the uh, the current editor is if your goal is to make maps. Um, maps, for example, are like levels that a player can play on. Uh, the things that you need in maps are decoration, easy iteration. So the easy iteration needs to come first, but then you need to be able to decorate the maps easily with assets that you've already included, so other scenes. And um, and you're going to want to be able to have uh, collisions be efficiently generated as well for those maps. So I'm going to illustrate what... Um, creating a map is like right now in Godot and why it should have some improvements. So right here is um, a static body 3D. This is what most of the map is going to be made out of. Uh, it comes with a mesh instance. So for our purpose, this is right now the most efficient um, the most efficient way to do it. Uh, the editor tells you that CSG geometry is um, oh, CS, that CSG geometry is not very efficient and should only be used for prototyping. So this is uh, CSG. Um, if we go over here, we can kind of iterate a bit easier uh, by doing things like that. Um, now, that's cool and all, but it's not much more different than just uh, doing this uh, than doing this, but and and like changing these, um, changing the uh, what are they called? The size value of this asset, and then and then regenerating the um, the collision shape. Uh, this method takes a long time. It's a lot of like nodes for a very simple task. Uh, and this method is not very performance efficient, according to the editor. So uh, if you look at something like um, Team Fortress 2, um, this is the hammer editor. And it's basically just a, a better version of the... Um, uh, like an updated version of uh, Quake's, um, what is it called? The Quake's Trench Room. Uh, you can use Trench Room in Godot using Quodo or whatever it's called, but um, I feel like a functionality similar to Trench Room, but like a little bit more advanced, should probably be uh, implemented into the Godot engine just so that... Um, because this editor works fine for not making maps, but once you want to start making maps, it becomes very clunky and annoying to use because you don't have a lot of tools to make maps fast. Um, you could make maps in Blender and then export that, uh, but then the issue is you'll have to generate a collision. You'll have to generate a static body and a collision sibling on like a and a uh, what is it called a trimesh a, co a concave collision shape on each of them and that might not be what you want because that might not be very efficient because it will literally just copy the um the like visual mesh and create a collision mesh from that so that's not great either and it also uh takes a long time to iterate on um The benefit of the hammer editor is you can kind of, it's kind of like a mini uh, blender, like built in, but specifically for making maps. Um, something like that would be pretty cool. Uh, trying to think what else. Like this map here that I made for testing um, took an incredibly long time. Uh, this is just a model that I imported, and scaling is another issue, right? Because even if you export the model, you need to re-import it with the correct scale every time you want to change the scale, because otherwise you are scaling the 
like if I wanted to scale this tree for instance, um, I can't have a scale value here, otherwise that messes up the collision detection because that scale value will be um, will be uh, trickled down to the collision shape 3D and scaling collision shape 3D is never a good idea. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, it just messes up with the collision detection. Um, and so if you'd want to iterate on the size of this tree, which is, this is just a model that I, that I imported and then, um, it's just a model that I imported from Sketchfab or whatever, and then generated a collision shape for using this uh, button. Um, if you wanted to iterate on the size, you'd have to go into the asset. Uh, I think it's here. And then uh, re-import it and change the scale of the mesh. Uh, then once you've done that, you need to go back to the mesh uh, and regenerate a uh, this thing, and then you you would have iterated on that. That's just a lot of steps for nothing, and it is not very intuitive uh, in the editor that you can't scale things like these. Um, if there was something similar to CSG, but with um, with like a, a, similar to um, to trench room uh, that exported in a non CSG form, that would probably be very cool, uh, but it would have to be nicely integrated into the engine as well. Uh, another thing that would be very very good to have would be a built in terrain editor for um uh for map making as well i believe that uh hammer has a terrain editor uh for um making more like natural like hilly areas of a map made in the source engine and then you can like add normal structures that are made with um that like traditional structures made in the hammer editor on top of that so I think that a node for um, for just like a, a bumpy, like naturally generated uh, um, terrain editor would be very cool. And but that would also have to come with uh, easy to implement collision detection uh, for it. Uh, I mean collision meshes. <clears throat> because right now the only way I could probably do something similar is if I made like a height map, th not a height map, but like a uh, a terrain shape thing in Blender, and then brought it over here, and then did the same like mesh, uh, create tri mesh, tri mesh collision sibling. Uh, the issue with that a lot of the time is when you download a model like uh, this random. Uh, this random thing that I found on Sketchfab. Uh, if you generate a model like this, oh, come on. This is a little like weapon model that I found. Uh, I don't own this model. Um, what you have to do is if you wanted to create a collision shape for this model, and this is kind of simple because there aren't a lot of parts, but a lot of models have a lot of different meshes uh, when you import them. What you, you can't just like click on this and and create a, a mesh. You'd have to go on each of them and then do this, create tri-mesh static body, because that will also create a, um, a static body, which is needed. You can't just have the collision shape. And I'd have to do that for all of the, um, all of the meshes that are in this uh, thing. Uh, you could maybe automate this with a script to like um, recursively generate one for each of the children mesh, uh, each of the children nodes that are meshes. But um, again, that's something that probably should be built into the editor. Uh, what I'm trying to say is uh, a workflow for like making maps is not very, is not really included uh, at all, and it makes iterating on um, 
like designing maps like this uh, very and this is a horrible map but making this took a very very long time uh, and I just made this for testing a, a physics um, improvement that I made to the, for the game so I, I feel like it should be a little bit better uh, to match what the source engine did uh, I think 20 years ago yeah that's about it